Welcome to 5-Minute Yoga for Everybody. Today we are doing a 30-minute yin yoga practice. Yin yoga is a much slower, uh, much, much calmer yoga practice. We breathe a lot and we hold the stretches for, well, some people hold them up to five minutes, but we'll probably be holding the stretches about a minute and a half to three minutes maybe on some of the stretches. We don't want to hurt ourselves. This practice is about going slowly and really getting a deep stretch. It's a lot more intense than a regular yoga practice. If you've got your, or then the vinyasa, I mean, it's, it's regular to do yin. It's just different than vinyasa, which is what we usually do when we're together. We do those flows. Those are vinyasa yoga flows. Blankets important to have. In this practice, we'll definitely want some blocks and maybe even a strap if you've got one. If you don't, um, I told you, you can use any blanket from your house. You can use socks or towels for the strap. We're gonna jump right into it, starting with a forward fold. So we'll sit up nice and tall, big inhale. As we exhale, let's walk our hands slowly forward. Now we'll be holding this stretch for quite a bit longer than we usually do, usually in our vinyasa practice. We hold the stretches for about 15 to 30 seconds. In this practice, we're gonna hold it over a minute, so a minute and a half. So maybe the first 30 seconds, you want to be not deep in the stretch. And maybe you wanna start out deep in the stretch. It's entirely up to you. We're not starting with a warm up because the whole class is a warm up. <laughs> so after the first 30 seconds, now maybe we'd like to go a little deeper. If we've got our straps, maybe we wanna pull the strap a little tighter. We always, in forward fold, wanna keep our chin lifted, our neck is long. We wanna protect the low back. We do not wanna hurt our back. So no curving forward, no, no uh, curving that spine over your feet. That's terrible for your back. So we want a nice strong back. Now we've been at it for just about a minute. So do you wanna go a little deeper for the last 30 seconds? Or maybe your legs are screaming in agony and you're ready to come out a little bit. Again, it's entirely up to you. Whatever feels best for your own body. This is a really good practice to learn to listen to what your body likes. So what feels, what feels best? Do that thing. We'll hold this stretch for just a few more breaths. And then very slowly, let's start to walk our hands back, slowly coming up to sitting. We're gonna give those legs a shake. Uh, give our jaw a shake. We wanna keep our face relaxed, our breath deep. Let's bring the right foot alongside the left leg. Again, we're gonna sit up nice and tall, finding that strap if we've got one. If we don't have a strap and we don't have blocks, well, we can use our leg as a prop and just walk our hands forward on that left leg. Right leg, right thigh is open at about 90 degrees from the torso, out to the side. It's just a little bit of a different stretch. We'll feel it a little differently in our hips and our hamstring. So after the first 30 seconds, do you wanna go a little deeper? Do you wanna find more depth in that stretch? Ooh. Maybe you don't wanna find more depth in the stretch. Maybe you wanna back out a little bit. There's no wrong way to do our yoga practice. We want to listen to our bodies and do what feels best. Now for the last 30 seconds, do you want to come out? Do you want to back up a little bit? Do you want to go a little bit deeper? breaths here. Now very slowly we'll release that strap. We'll walk our hands slowly and carefully up that leg. Let's bring the right knee up. So right knee comes up right. And we'll keep the right foot on the inside of the left leg this time. Let's inhale. Left arm reaches overhead. We're going to wrap that left arm around the right knee. And then carefully look over the right shoulder. We don't want to go too deep to start, so I won't, you see, I'm not starting. I'm not starting as deep as I can be in the pose. The 
but now that we've been in 30 seconds, maybe we want to wrap that knee a little tighter. Maybe we want to twist a little deeper. In a minute, do you feel like going a little deeper in the twist? Do you feel like holding where you are? Do you feel like coming out? This is a great practice to practice closing your eyes because we're not moving fast, we're not balancing, we're just stretching the body. Sometimes that's what exactly what we need, especially at the end of a long day. Yin yoga is a great practice to do right before bed, just to quiet your central nervous system. Now we're at the end of that minute and a half. Let's sit up tall, big inhale. We're gonna first release our head, relax the jaw. Now slowly, let's unwind the shoulders and the rib cage. We're gonna keep that right leg bent. Let's fold the left leg in. Now with this yin practice, this, this, this pose gives us an opportunity to try some different variations. And that's one of the things I like about yin. So I'm gonna start in the very basic cross leg position and walk my hands forward. Now, if you'd like to try a little variation or you'd like something a little different, take the right foot Place the right ankle on top of the left knee, the left knee on top of the right ankle, and then we'll walk forward still. Oh, notice how that feels. in a minute. Do you want to go a little deeper? Do you want to come out of the stretch a little bit? So we're going to, I'm going to try this variation. It's a cow face position of deepening by stacking the knees on top of the knee. So the right knee is on top of the left knee. And we're just going to come forward a little bit more. Oh, we feel that in the glutes. That's especially where I'm feeling. Let's try walking both hands over to the right, or to the left side of the mat, excuse me. How does that feel? Do you notice a difference? And actually, when I do it off to the side, I like to sit more like this to get a better stretch. And we'll slowly walk our hands forward, and we'll cross over to the right side of the mat. So a yin yoga practice is really nice some candles and play some nice music and turn the lights down low. This is a great before bed practice. Maybe right as you get out of the bath or the shower, the body's already warm. Not a good practice to do if it's cold and you're sitting outside because your muscles are so tight they don't want to stretch. Let's come back to center nice and slowly. We'll walk our hands all the way up. Let's extend those legs and we'll do the other side. So coming back to that forward fold, this time we'll, again we'll have a little variation. We're going to point our toes, instead of flexing our feet, we're pointing the toes toward the wall in front of us, finding our straps, finding our blocks. Let's sit up tall, point those toes, and walk our hands forward. How does that feel? Now we might only want to come a little way into the stretch to get started might like to alternate our feet. It's been 30 seconds. Do we want to go a little deeper? Now it's been a minute. For the next 30 seconds, do you want to go deeper? Do you want to back out? What does your body want to do in this moment? <laughs> You may have never asked your body what it wants to do, but it's not like it's going to answer, but you can tell if your back's had enough, if your 
shoulders hurt or your hand, probably more like your hamstrings hurt. Listen to what feedback you're getting from your hamstrings. Maybe your calves, pointed toes, makes your calves cramp. So maybe you want to pull your toes back toward your body. It's about listening. Listening to those cues that our body sends. Yeah, we've, we've held this a little bit longer, and that's okay, because both legs are stretching. And let's walk our hands all the way in, nice and slow. Let's bring that left foot alongside the right leg. Strap stays around the right foot. So we are perpendicular to that left leg. It's not quite 90 degrees, but you get the idea. We want that left foot, or the left thigh, just resting off to the side. We'll sit up nice and tall. And again, hinging forward at the hips. Now that angle might not feel good for your knee, so maybe you want to slide your foot down toward your calf. That's okay. We want to honor how our knee feels, how our hips feel. Do we want to use blocks here? It's a little easier to use the blocks in yin yoga because we can rest our hands on the blocks. Now it's been 30 seconds. Do we want to go a little deeper? Roughly 30 seconds. This isn't exact. Just like me, I'm not exact. I'm, I'm, I work, I operate in the world of roughly. I listen to my body. Oh man. So we've been here for the first minute. Do you wanna go a little deeper? Keeping your back straight. Whatever you're choosing to do, whether you're coming in, going deeper or coming out slightly, you wanna protect that back. So you really wanna keep your low back, you don't want to curve your spine. You want to keep it nice and strong. Uh, I'm not telling you what you want to do. I'm telling you what might be best for your back. Actually, you can listen to your own body. You know better than I do what's best for your body. Let's walk our hands in. Kind of bring that knee upright. Move the strap out of the way. Big inhale. Let's reach that right arm overhead. And we'll wrap the right arm around the left knee. And then gently, let's look over the left shoulder. Again, I'm not going to twist too much to start, only because I don't want to hurt my back. It's a little chilly out here. It's late afternoon, and it's beautiful, but uh, it's a little chillier than you might want to do a yin practice at, but I love to be outside, so I don't mind. Now, after the first 30 seconds, maybe do you want to go a little deeper? And if you don't, that's okay. You want to do what your body wants to do. You don't want to do what I'm telling you to do. I'm not even the boss of you. <laughs> not even the boss of my own self. Now the last 30 seconds. You can go deeper, bring it back down. Look how back that feels. cross-legged pose. It's not a pose. It is a pose. <laughs> Let's walk our hands forward. So we'll stay here, or you can be wherever you want to be. I'm going to stay here for the first 30 seconds. And now after 30 seconds, I'm going to take that left foot on top of the right knee, the right knee on top of the left foot, going a little bit deep, deeper, a little deeper variation. for support. Yes, we can bring our hands to the mat. We can bring our elbows to the mat. But are we compromising the integrity of our spine? That's really what we want to pay attention to. Now we're going to walk hands over to the right side of the mat. I'm going to readjust my legs for this part because I get a better stretch oh, this way. the crows. 
<laughs> and now hands very slowly come to center. And we're going to keep moving this direction until we're over on the left side of our mat. center. Maybe we want to hold this just another couple seconds. Maybe we don't, but we're going <laughs> to. And let's walk our hands all the way up. We're going to bring the bottoms of our feet together for a butterfly stretch. Now, this might be just enough stretch sitting like this. It feels pretty good to me. Let's find our blocks. Knees are open, dropped open naturally. So we're not forcing our knees down. We're not bouncing our knees. We're just sitting gently. And let's walk our hands gently forward. Ooh, I'm feeling that. Again, this is another stretch where we want to keep our back nice and long. I know the football coach said we had to bend over those knees, but notice how that feels in your back. Just try it for a second. Try bending it like this and just see it hurts my neck. It hurts my low back. It hurts everything. So I don't choose to do that. If you try that and you find that it feels better, then please be my guest. Do whatever feels best for your body. But please, please, please be careful. Be cognizant of your back and spine. It's hard to heal from back injuries. Okay, my hummingbird just flew by. It's probably a bunch of different hummingbirds, but I pretend like it's one and it's mine. <laughs> And let's, uh, let's come all the way up. We're gonna gently release those legs. Oh, let's give all of our legs a shake. That was a lot. Now we are gonna come onto our backs. This is a great time to have a blanket or some kind of cushioning for your neck. So this end that's closest to me is folded over an extra fold. So it's uh, supportive for my neck. And then my head kind of drops backward uh, from where that fold is. It's not a huge fold, it's just a little bit. Now we are going to rock side to side to get started. Oh. Let's take the right ankle, we'll cross it over the left leg. We're bringing the left thigh toward the chest. And again, maybe we're gonna hold this for a couple of minutes. We might wanna start out slowly. We might like to try some different variations. Maybe we want to extend the left leg. Maybe we want to bring that left knee in really close to our body. So we're one minute in. Do you want to go deeper? Do you want to try rocking side to side? There's no wrong way to do this. It's really important to listen to what your body needs and wants in the moment. At a minute and a half, maybe you want to go a little deeper. Maybe you want to start to gently come out a little bit. We're going to hold this for another 30 seconds. It's important to decide what you like to do and what you want to practice. And let's slowly bring that left foot down. Oh, let's rock side to side, actually. Let's <laughs> Bring both knees into our chest. See, holding those poses that long is really uh, makes your back tired. Left foot comes to the mat. Right ankle crosses over. Now we're going to draw our left knee open to the left. And yes, these are stretches that we do in our vinyasa, pro uh, in our vinyasa practice. However, it really is a different feeling when we hold these stretches for a long time. And we want to make sure, excuse me, mm. see my central nervous system is calming down. This is great. <laughs> if you're yawning, it's also another indication that you're in the parasympathetic nervous system. Uh, yawning, uh, drooling, because your digestive system really kicks in when you tap into that rest and digest mode instead of fight or flight.
Maybe you want to move the right knee up or down. Maybe you want to move the left knee out a little bit. Maybe you want to bring the left hand to the right ankle. Lots of options here. about 10 more seconds. And let's slowly, slowly unwind that twist. We're going to extend the right leg overhead. Let's find that nice calf stretch or hamstring stretch. Now we're going to take the right leg, we're going to slide the right leg under the left. So right foot comes toward the left hip, and we're going to drop that right thigh open on the mat. Right arm can reach overhead. Maybe for the first 30 seconds, we don't want the right arm overhead, or we want the elbow bent. There's no wrong way to do it. I'm going to keep saying it, and I'm going to keep preaching it until you hear me. Listen to your own body. It's important. Now we're 30 seconds in. Would you like to bring that left hand to the right ankle? Maybe you want to pull that right heel up toward the right hip, or to the left hip, I mean. Oh, maybe it's too much and you want to let that right knee come up a little bit. That's okay. Maybe you want to let that right foot come out a little bit. Maybe you don't feel enough and you want to tighten the right glute and go a little bit deeper for the last 30 seconds. There's no wrong way. You're getting a cramp in your butt cheek. Oh, excuse me, in your right butt cheek or your right hamstring. If it's cramping, then it's okay to come out of this stretch and extend your leg overhead and stretch that back out. We've got about 30 more seconds. So maybe going a little deeper if you want. And then remember to breathe in this practice. Long, slow, deep breaths. And let's release that right foot. Let's bring the right knee straight in toward the chest, releasing the low back. Left leg extends all the way out. We're going to hold this a few seconds. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a good sign if I'm yawning because I got plenty of sleep. I'm not tired. It's just the central nervous system is really relaxed. So let's take that right knee across the body. Right arm opens out to the side. Oh, this is a little bitey. So maybe we don't want to go too deep to start. Maybe we want that right arm in close as we begin. And then as we come to 30 seconds, maybe we can open the right arm a little more. Maybe we can bring that right knee a little deeper into the stretch. seconds. Do you want to try and go deeper? Do you want to try and come out a little bit? Okay, very slowly we're going to come out of this stretch. So maybe easing up on the right knee. Gently bringing that right arm in, slowly, slowly coming onto the back. Right knee comes into the chest. Can we bring the left knee in? And let's rock side to side. As we stimulate that vagus nerve in our back, it's going to help us into that rest and digest mode. Let's come to center. We'll bring the right foot to the mat. Left ankle crosses over the right knee. And let's bring that right knee toward our chest. And remember to breathe. Those nice, long, deep breaths. Maybe we want to bring that knee a little closer in. We've been here 30 seconds.
now that it's been a minute, do you want to add a little side to side rock? And grab the head if you need to loosen up your neck a little bit. Again, there's no wrong way to do this. You just want to move. Let's slowly come back to center. We're going to bring that right foot all the way down to the mat. Very slowly now, the right knee drops open to the right. The left foot is coming down toward the right side of the mat. If we'd like to, we can open the right arm out to the side, if that feels like an option. Now we're 30 seconds in again. Do we want to bring the right hand to the left ankle? Do we want to move that left knee up or down? Do we want to move the right knee out or in? breaths here. And now slowly let's release the left ankle. Let's slowly, slowly, slowly come back to center with the knees and the left arm. Let's extend that left leg overhead. Coming back to that hamstring stretch. How are we doing on time? Look at that. We're perfect. Let's take the left foot and slide it under the right leg. Left arm reaches overhead. So it's been 30 seconds. Do we want to maybe bring that left heel a little closer Ooh, to the right hip? Yowza, I feel that. Feel that. So the front of the left thigh is stretching the hip flexor, the uh, piriformis, no, not the piriformis, excuse me, the iliopsoas, the quadricep, the inner thigh, that's the adductor. We're getting all of those thigh, front thigh muscles. Now for the last 30 or so seconds, do you want to tighten the left glute, the left butt cheek against the mat? If you tighten one muscle, the opposing muscle lengthens. So by tightening or contracting the gluteus, that forces the quadric quadricep to lengthen to support that contracted muscle. Which is why if you focus on really strengthening one part of your body, so your biceps, your triceps get overstretched because they get lengthened without being stretched. Or like when we're on our computers a lot, Let's release this stretch and I'll continue my thought. Let's bring our knee to our chest and the right leg stretches all the way out. So we're on our computer, our hands are in front of us, or we're on our phone, or we're reading a book. Anytime we've got our arms in front of us, those chest muscles and the front shoulder muscles are contracted. The back muscles are lengthening and what happens is we develop um, that curve in the spine because the spine's getting weaker, not the spine itself, but the muscles are getting weaker. Let's cross that left knee across the body, which is why in um, the energizing yoga video that I posted that's 30 minutes, we do a lot of strengthening for the upper back because we really want to stretch the chest that gets overly worked and we want to work the back that gets overly stretched. So we want to counteract all of that phone activity develop that curvature in the spine, that lump at the top of the neck, it's really becoming an issue and um, we really want to counteract that in our own body. And part of that is just our yoga practice in general, so honestly thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. See if I talk and distract you and it doesn't seem so bad that we're holding these poses forever. <laughs> 
and we might do a three minute hold uh, in the future, but I thought we'd start with a gentle yin practice just so we don't hurt ourselves. Let's slowly, slowly, slowly unwind that twist. Bringing the left arm in, bringing the left knee up. Right knee comes in to join it. And let's rock side to side. Look at that, we're exactly on time. And now we'll make our way all the way around to one side. I do want to honor your time. And if I say it's going to be 30 minutes, I like to keep it at 30 minutes. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for trying in yoga, that long hold, that long stretch. In yoga, we say namaste. It means the peace and the love of God that live in me. Greet that peace and that love that live in you. It's my way of honoring who you truly are and acknowledging your beautiful soul. And it's my way of thanking you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Namaste.